Hi, I'm Ben, and I work on the C++ team on Copilot integration. And so we're here in Visual Studio with some open source code. And for a long time, Visual Studio has had the ability to generate doc comment stubs. So in this case, I have it configured to generate doxygen stubs. And so if I type slash slash slash, I'll get this doc comment stub. But of course, it's just a stub. Right? There's no actual natural language filled in here. Um, and I actually didn't even get a Copilot completion here. If I manually request a completion, I can get one, but it's just a single line. It's not the whole thing. So new in 1714, um, there's an option to enable AI generated descriptions for doc comments. And so I can go ahead and check that. And this will be turned on by default. I'm just for demo purposes, left it off to start. Um, so then if you have a Copilot subscription that's logged in, um, now if I do the same thing, slash, 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 uh, I see this thinking state while it comes up with the actual natural language for the doc comment. And then um, it shows up just like a normal completion here with a bunch of gray text. And so at this point, I could review this. If I don't like it, just like normal, I could press escape to dismiss it, or I could start typing to dismiss it. And so I'll go ahead and press tab and um, accept the whole thing. And so behind the scenes, what this is doing is actually taking the function body um, and using it as context when it generates the completion. And we can see that here where the return value, it documented it as returning one if the projection is successful, otherwise returning zero. And if we scroll down through the function body, we can see indeed it returns zero here if there was an error and it returns one at the end if everything worked out. 